Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to work this Max MSP patch that I have made. I have made it available on my GitHub and a link will be in the description. So what this patch does is it takes any two notes and any interval and uses the ratio of this interval and a bunch of math to create polyrhythms. And I've written out the ratios right here. Now it can be any two notes, whether it be inside or outside of the octave, but if the interval is outside of an octave, the patch will still consider it within the octave. So what you want to do to run this patch is if you have a MIDI controller to first uh, click this bang button and then select your MIDI controller. And then you want to turn on the transport by clicking this purple toggle. Let's turn that off for a second so you're not listening to the ticks while I talk. And then you want to select your tempo. So how about we just go with 60. And then you will uh, play any two notes. So if I am to play it on my MIDI keyboard, and you see it registers as a major third here. And there's your major six. And right now you can't hear the rhythm, uh, the polyrhythmic cycles, but that's because I've turned off the master toggle here. So if I am to turn it back on, you can hear all of them. And you can turn off individual cycles here. Like that. And a few things to keep in mind. Um, one is you see this a thousand int box here and the threshold uh, thresh a thousand. So what this means is that you have to press your two notes within one second or within a thousand millisecond interval. So if the notes that you are pressing are uh, more than one second apart in their time frame, then it will not register as an interval. Uh, you can adjust this threshold though by clicking and dragging here, uh, but the default is a thousand milliseconds. Another thing to keep in mind is the velocity. So I have set it to automatically be a, vo a velocity of 100. But if you want your uh, button pressing to be uh, to be controlling it, you just have to turn that toggle on. And let's turn on the sound so you can hear the difference. So you can see that this velocity is changing, but it is a bit quiet when I'm just clicking it as opposed to when I am playing with my MIDI keyboard. Uh, so that's why if you turn the toggle off, it will automatically go back to 100. And that is how you run the patch.